Betty. These men want to ask you some questions. Okay. Ma'am, what is your daughter's name? It's my name. Betty? There's a bet. With an A. When was the last time you saw your daughter? I already answered these questions. Just one more time, ma'am. We don't want to miss anything. I told you. It's the morning she left. Where? I mean, where did she go? Yes, ma'am. Some place she found on the web. In the desert? Yes. Where is she? Where is she? There's a ranger out at the Wren base. He found one of our missing girls. Is it? No, it's not her. It's not them. We, we have no clues at all on them. No missing car, no loose change, nothing. I'm gonna go see Mr. Wren, let him know to keep his eyes open. Well, should we tell her? Well, I don't know, what do you think? Wish they'd close their door. It's getting cold. Do you want a blanket, Betty? I saw it driving across the res last night. I should have known better. What do you think happened? Sergeant, this is a desert out here. I know what happened. What? Nothing. Nothing happened. Look, they haven't been kidnapped. They're not dead. They're not alive. They're not here. They're not there. They're nowhere. Hmm. This is the same story that's been told before. There's a bed. There's a bed. There's a bed. Breaking news today in the unfolding White House scandals. This morning, the House voted to release attorney Ken Starr's report on impeachable charges to be filed against President Bill Clinton. Can we listen to something else? Starr filed the report Depressing. on Wednesday, detailing alleged financial crimes, sexual malfeasance, and perjury before Gotta Congress. Gotta keep informed, man. The report Signs accuses of the, the President times. of obstructing justice and abusing his constitutional authority by lying to Congress about his relationship with intern Monica How much Lewinsky longer, at a deposition in January. 
Soon. House Republicans are expected to file charges photos, against dear. the president within the next month. Critics of the report say that Mr. Starr's definition of perjury is broader than the U.S. Code's legal... <laughs> The road with no name. Here comes my dear Sebastian, the road with no name. Mojave payphone? It is. Oh, snap. I can't believe I got through. Yo, dude, dude, I got through. So, how's the weather out there, baby girl? Who was it? Nobody. Just some kids. What do we do now? Now we wait. Sebastian? Sebastian? Do you know what I'm thinking about, Sebastian? No. You're thinking about the two of clubs. Hi, folks, it's your buddy Captain Zeno here. Coming to you from wildest Arizona. United States Survey. Today, folks, I want to talk to you about 10 ways to survive Y2K. Y2K. And there ain't a damn thing that that serial whoremonger Bill Clinton can do about it. There's a bet. Closer. First of that, honey, open up. What do you want, Mom? Well, I wondered what you were doing. It's the internet, Mom. I know, but I wish you'd tell me what. You know, when I was your age, I used to play outside sometimes. You have a fluoridated mind, mother. What? Ursa Bet? Ursa Bet? What is it?
It's a map. To what? Who knows? Maybe our destiny. I can feel your eyes on me, Rory. It's been three hours, Urzabet. Do these things usually take so long? Sometimes longer. Kabucha? No thanks. How will we know the right one when he calls? Everything we need to know is right here. Oh. So, this is what you two do for fun? Mm-hmm. Remember that time in the Crescent City? Oh man, the trees of mystery. Wild, just wild. The world's a far bigger place than you realize, Rory. You see those white lines? Condensation trails? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no, no. It's Mr. Clinton squirting us with chemicals. Chemicals? To keep us in the dark. To make us dumb. You've got a lot to learn, Rory. She probably still thinks we landed on the moon. It's all a big adventure. Our parents bought into it. Hook, line, and sinker. But we won't. Our generation won't believe their lies anymore. And it all starts right here. At a forgotten payphone in the Mojave Desert. Yes. Yeah.
finally. The millennium approaches. Heads or tails? Heads. Rory? Uh, tails. Congratulations. You won an FDR. the Mojave payphone. Can you help me? Help you? He's coming, my brother is coming. Do you want me to call the police? No, it's too late. Where are you? I'm in, I'm in Phoenix. Arizona? Oh, please help me. He's almost here. Don't hang up. No! What just happened? I don't know. Captain Zeno didn't say anything about this. What is happening, Urzabet? There's fear in my fingernail, Sebastian. Why? Hello? This is Mr. Wren. Mr. Wren? What are you doing on my Air Force base? Come on, girl, answer. We came to see the payphone. century comes like lightning, like a thief in the night. Is it the story that's been told before, of granite and a warm winter's day? 
<laughs> Is it? Let's go! What did he say? Get the car now! <laughs> Where's Rory? Rory? Oh my god, where is she? What is happening? What is happening? We have to go back! No, no. We'll call the police. We'll call the police. What? Don't move! Ah! What are you doing in my house? Uh, your house? Are you alright, honey? Did she hurt you? No, I'm fine. I said don't move! What were you doing on the couch? I couldn't sleep. What is going on? Why are you in my house? Shut up! Darling, look. Would you put the gun down, please? Doesn't she look familiar?
Oh my God. It's her. Who are you people? Where are my parents? Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. They're gone. They left about a year after you disappeared. I I'm right here. I, I left this morning. I mean... It was all over the news. Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? Mom? <laughs> Darling. 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 What year is it? It's 1998, you freaks! No. No. Two thousand and one. Two thousand one. Two years. I think I'm gonna be sick. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Seems the whole world is crashing down. What do you mean? Let me turn on the TV. Honey. Jim, she has to know. Will you be all right? I know it's hard to hear. No, no. I'm fine. It's been a long day. You know, your folks left a forwarding address for the mail, I think. Do you want it? I guess. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you.
These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. But they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world. And no one will keep that light from shining. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. And we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, government's emergency response plans. Our military is powerful and it's prepared. Our emergency teams are working in New York City and Washington, D.C. to help with local rescue efforts. Our first priority is to get help to those who have been injured and to take every precaution to protect our citizens at home and around the world from soldier attacks. Stay. 